In this video, we're going to focus on factoring binomials. So binomial is basically a polynomial with two terms. So let's say if we have the expression x squared plus 4x, what can we do to factor this particular expression? The first thing you, you should look for always is to remove the GCF, the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between x squared and 4x is x, because we can divide both terms by x. So if we take out an x, x squared divided by x is simply x, and 4x divided by x is 4. So the answer is simply x times x plus 4. So that's how we can factor the first expression. Now let's try another example. How can we factor the expression 12y to the third minus 18y to the fifth? So what is the GCF between 12 and 18? 2 can go into 12 and 18, so can 3, but also 6. And 6 is the greatest of those three. So the GCF will contain a 6. Between y to the third and y to the fifth, the GCF is the one with the smaller exponent, so it's going to be y to the third. Now, 12 y to the third divided by 6 y cubed is simply 2. The y variables cancel. 3 minus 3 is 0. y to the 0 is 1. Negative 18 y to the fifth divided by 6 y cubed. Negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2, so this is negative 3y squared. So this is the answer to the second problem. Now what about this example? How can we factor x squared minus 25? So you can factor this expression using the difference of squares technique. And there's no greatest common factor between x squared and 25. We can't take out an x or a 5. To use the difference of squares technique, you can use this formula. a squared minus b squared is simply a minus b times a plus b. So to factor x squared minus 25, what you want to do is take the square root of x squared. The square root of x squared is simply x. The square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Now one of them is going to be minus, the other will be plus. And so that's how you can factor x squared minus 25. Now let's try some more examples like this. So let's factor the expression x squared minus 36. So the square root of x squared is x the square root of 36 is 6. One will be minus and the other will be plus. So that's the answer for this one. Now what about this example? 4x squared minus 64. Now, even though we can take the square root of 4 and 64, Notice that there's a GCF, a greatest common factor, and it's going to be easier if we take out the greatest common factor first. The greatest common factor between 4 and 64 is 4. 4x four squared divided by 4 is x squared, and 64 divided by 4 is 16. So now we can use the difference of squares method. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 16 is 4. And it's going to be minus 4 and plus 4. So here's the answer. Let's try this one. 3x squared minus 108. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So we can't take the square root of 3. If we do, we're not going to get a whole number. So let's remove the GCF first. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. What is 108 divided by 3? 108 divided by 3 is 36. And now we can factor x squared minus 36. 
the square root of 36 is 6. So this is going to be x plus 6 times x minus 6, all multiplied by 3. So that's all you got to do for that problem. Now what about this one? 9x squared minus 49. Notice that there's no GCF, no greatest common factor that we can remove in this example. However, we could just use the difference of squares method directly. What is the square root of 9x squared? The square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x squared is x. So the square root of 9x squared is 3x. The square root of 49 is 7. So it's going to be 3x minus 7 and 3x plus 7. Try this one. 25x squared minus 64y squared. So what is the square root of 25x squared? This is going to be 5x. And the square root of 64y squared is simply 8y. So the answer is 5x minus 8y, 5x plus 8y. So as you can see, using the difference of squares technique is not too difficult. Now what about this one? 121x to the 4th minus 81y to the 6th. So what is the square root of 121? 11 times 11 is 121. And what is the square root of x to the 4th? To find the square root of x to the 4th, simply divide 4 by 2. So this is x squared. So the square root of 121x to the 4th is 11x squared. If you multiply 11x squared by 11x squared, you're going to get 124x to the 4th. Now what's the square root of 81y to the 6th? The square root of 81 is 9, and the square root of y to the 6 is basically y to the 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So this is 9y cubed, and then minus and plus. So here's the answer. Now, what would you do to factor this expression, x cubed minus 8? Notice that we can't use the difference of squares technique for this one. It's not going to work out too well. So we can use another technique, that is the difference of cubes, because we could take the cube root of x to the third and 8. Now here is the formula that corresponds to this problem. a to the third minus b to the third is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So a cubed is x cubed, b cubed is 8. To find a and b, we need to take the cube root. The cube root of x to the third is x. The cube root of 8 is 2. And we have a negative sign between them. So if a is x and b is 2, what is a squared? a squared is a times a, which is x times x. That's x squared. b squared is 2 times 2, that's 4. So a squared is x squared, and b squared is 4. Now what about a times b? a times b, or x times 2, is simply 2x. And the signs will be positive, so this is the answer. x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So now let's try another example. Let's say if we want to factor the expression x cubed plus 27. So the formula is going to be a to the third plus b to the third. And this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So if this is plus, that's going to be plus, And this is going to be minus. These two are always the same. And this one is opposite to the first one. The cube root of x to the third is x, and the cube root of 27 is 3. a squared is going to be x times x, which is x squared, 
AB, x times 3 is 3x. B squared, 3 times 3 is 9. So this is the answer. Try this one. 27 x cubed plus 64. So in this case, A is the cube root of 27 x cubed, which is 3x. And B is the cube root of 64, which is 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So A plus B, that's going to be 3x plus 4. And then A squared, which is 3x times 3x, that's the 9x squared, minus AB, which is 3x times 4, that's 12x, plus B squared, or 4 times 4, which is 16. So this is the answer to the second one.